Hello Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do another art journal and uh, I'm going to share with you a paper pad uh, that I loved. Uh, it's from KN Company uh, and it's uh, from Tim Coffee specialty paper. Uh, there are some papers that are varnished that makes them glossy. It is a nautical uh, concept. There are a lot of uh, things related to the sea but in a more vintage look and feel. So I'm going to show you uh, the pages quickly. Uh, I love this uh, one. Uh, I will also uh, take out things that I'm going to use. Uh, I will create a nice border with all those elements. Here is a map that looks really nice. And there are two of each. As you see, the uh, kind of waves are uh, glossy and uh, actually they are double sided uh, but the other sides are mostly uh, patterns and these sides are uh, mostly some pictures you can create an art journal completely from uh, these matching elements from a scrapbook uh, paper pad you see it's so beautiful uh, i really love it probably i can create a lot of journals uh, from this pad only I love these trees. As soon as I saw it, I, uh, it came to my mind I could create an island scene. So I'm taking that as well. And uh, oh, I love this as well. And uh, I love the ship there. It goes with my island concept. So I'm going to take this paper as well. So you will see I will create my page uh, with uh, those elements mainly uh, covering it with those beautiful images. I'm going to create my background with uh, acrylic paint. Uh, that's why I'm uh, gessoing uh, my pages first. I'm using a Daily Rowney uh, gesso. This is Claudine Helmut uh, acrylic paint. Uh, I only have one. I just bought uh, to try. And I thought uh, the color goes. Uh, it's very sandy. And uh, in my mind I'm imagining a sandy island. So I will use this uh, to create the background. I'm using a brush but as you see I'm not trying to cover uh, that texture that happens with my brush. I really like it. It's more natural. And in the end I'm going to leave it uh, as imperfect as this and uh, dry my pages. Now I will use my Distress Oxides. Uh, I love these uh, inks because they are a combination of pigmenting and dyeing. It makes them really easier uh, to apply. They are much softer, much creamier. So instead of using my normal distress inks, I really prefer to use it if I'm working on a whole page. So again, I'm moving uh, through imperfection. I applied it here and there. And I'm putting a little bit peeled paint to give it a little bit color. And also it will go with my elements. Remember I cut a tree uh, there are some blues in my uh, uh, border and I sprayed some water just to give even more texture uh, you will see it clearly from the close-up pictures here I cut all my elements while I was watching TV it took some time uh, but uh, you know when you're doing something else uh, that doesn't need attention uh, you might as well cut your uh, pieces uh, it doesn't take uh, more time uh, than uh, like 20-30 minutes so now I'm creating my border first uh, from these elements I cut them one by one from the big page and I'm uh, sticking them according to their colors uh, I'm just giving a variety of colors side by side but all this scenery will have vintage colors uh, in the end so I sticked all my border uh, but later on it came to my mind that I want this tree uh, tucked under these uh, elements because it will look more uh, uh, natural and it will give some depth. So uh, I'm doing the hard thing here. Uh, I'm uh, trying to lift them uh, and uh, stick them again. Luckily I didn't damage uh, them uh, on the <laughs> surface uh, down yes uh, 
uh, I, uh, um, I took out one layer of it while I was taking it out but on the surface it will look like nothing happened which is what is important these things happen when I am journaling always because you cannot plan everything and new ideas uh, come to my mind and I try to adjust in some cases I can in some cases I can't in this case uh, I really wanted to make it happen so I took out these pieces no matter what <laughs> and by the way I'm using matte medium to stick everything now I'm going to cut all these excess uh, elements to see how my page looks like. I really love it. I love the colors. Uh, and now since I'm comfortable I'm going to stick my tree. I hope I don't need to move, remove it in the future. And I'm covering all my elements when I'm sticking with matte medium as well because in the end you will see I will do shading with my pit brush markers which is really important to give depth uh, to the page. By covering all these elements with matte medium I'm making them non-porous so I can move my pit brush markers. And here is how it looks for now. I love it. I love all the colors and everything. So now I'm going to do some uh, background stamping. I found this that looks like sand in one of my stamp sets from Stampendus. I'm using sepia archival ink. I don't want this to move when I put other things so it will be permanent. And I'm just uh, stamping it as you see on the ground. Uh, it will look like there is some uh, sand texture. Now it's time to stick my ship. I also cut this shape from the same uh, page and uh, I want the ship to look like it's standing on a wave. Uh, obviously this is all uh, fictional that is in my mind, it's not realistic but uh, art is all about what, how you want to express it, what you want to express it. Uh, it doesn't need to be realistic. So I sticked my abstract wave uh, and uh, I'm sticking my ship uh, on top of it. As you see I'm covering uh, all the ship with matte medium although I don't need to just because I'm going to do a lot of shading. I cannot stress this enough. This needs to be non-porous to be able to do some shading with pit brush markers. Again I'm cutting all the excess. I was going through my stash and I found this uh, Tim Holtz mini blueprints and I thought this compass can go well with my concept of uh, island, sea, a ship traveling. So I'm going to stamp the compass uh, at the corner with my uh, sepia ink again. Here it is, I think it looks nice and it gives another interest. And here is one of my uh, favorite uh, alphabet stickers, it's by Bobani, uh, the name is Starcrossed. And it has uh, uh, stickers but uh, with texture on it. So I took uh, the ones with wood texture on it. Both the color goes very well and also uh, wood texture on the letters goes very well with again uh, my concept and uh, vintage look and feel. I chose this sentiment, sail away, uh, because again there is a ship uh, in my uh, page. To make sure they don't fall off, uh, I also covered them with matte medium. Now it's time for shading. Uh, this is important because now uh, the elements look like they are sticked. But I want them to be all blended and uh, look uh, like there is depth on the page. So I'm going to do a lot of uh, shading. I started with uh, Molnut Brown from Faber-Castell Pit Brush Markers. But I found it a little bit uh, dull brown. And I switched to Caput Mortum. But you will see me uh, using both from time to time. Uh, the places close to the sand uh, background I use Caput Mortum and when I want a little bit darker I will use my Walnut Brown. 
Uh, I'm not afraid of uh, doing shading. Uh, this will not spoil the page, I think. Uh, on the contrary, it will give depth. Uh, it will uh, save it looking like everything sticked uh, on top of the page. Even I'm trying to enter in between the leaves. And I'm going around the border. I uh, much like this look. And I, I'm going to do the, the same sand stamping on top of the page too, just to bring a little bit more unity. Uh, I found it empty. And my page is finished. Uh, I love all of it. Uh, I already like this paper pad a lot and I'm glad uh, I found the concept looking at it. As you see, it can be so easy to create a page uh, if you use one paper pad and select elements from it. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration from it. If you like my projects, don't forget to give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That's how I know you like them and uh, I continue doing. You will find full list of supplies down below at the description area or in my blog. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.